Python Center. Python Center. Scammer. All right, so back at it. Back in space. So first thing you need to do is check to see if the CG materials are still plentiful. Looking for copper. Copper, isn't it? Wasn't it three something yesterday? Whatever, 650 credits is still fine. See how we're doing on the CG. And we're up there. Um, it looks like we're almost halfway. Still in the top 75%. Looks like we got another 270 contributors since I played yesterday. Interesting, I'm still there with only two runs completed. Oh, I don't know. So I think I'm going to do this for a little while, so I'll be a little bit back and forth. Between here and, uh, what, what is it? Um, Wilson City. And then when I get to Wilson City, I can see if the economy recovered at all. Sometimes on the weekend, most people playing will, you know, upset the economy. I don't think this was 1.8 million, wasn't it? Uh, some hundred thousand or something. I don't know. Anyway. It'll upset the economy, and then when people stop going through the system, it'll recover. So I think you can still look at that here. That's faction information. Trade bounty. Prime. Commanders. Here we go. So in the last 24 hours, a thousand ships passed through the system I'm in. So yeah, so it was busy here. 300 Type 9s, 500 Imperial Cutters, which is what I'm flying, and then the rest are little guys, a couple of Anacondas. So yeah, these are people running the CG and the big ships that can carry a lot. <clears throat> so tomorrow, if I play, when I look at this, there's going to be a lot less than a thousand people, I suspect. So, we've got our copper. Yeah. Plot our course. And be in our way. PC. Camera. I have a mail, email there I didn't see. Check it in a minute.
It's like the stations revolved on the other side of the planet and a bit easier to go in. I find Doc now. Hammer. Touchdown. Clear to yeah, the profits down. The price at the buying point definitely went up. I was making 300k yesterday, so I think it price at the buy point went up. It was like 350 or something now it's 650 so that's why my profits are down which is fine i don't really care i'm not trying to make a profit right now i'm trying to contribute to the cg just that one run i'm up in the top 50 percent now kind of interesting looks like maybe there's a lot of people just contributing to register that they contributed I don't know I don't know anyway so if prices are different I need to look at if there's anything I can bring to the other station so PC We'll set our destination as sort by distance. Salzburg Vision. That's where we're picking up the copper, so we want that to be our destination. And then check the trade. So I can make 600 each on military grade fabrics, and they have lots of them. And that's not a controversial uh, commodity. It's not like it's guns or, which I think they just put in here as weapons or something. I don't know. That's it. Okay. I mean, I could make a little bit more in consumer tech, but there's only a hundred of them and I might. Cargo Bay carries 712, so I'll just take, I'll just take fabrics, 
and make uh, 600 each. Military grade fabrics. Okay. Might get attacked now, but on the other end, but that's fine. Should be okay. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Yeah. Need to check my email too. Okay. We're spotted. Before I take off, let me check my mail. Oh, that's the 200 arcs we're playing today. Fine. Camera. Whatever. It's fine if I get attacked. The system's high security. It shouldn't have any issues. Meaning I should get police help if I get interdicted and start a fight. It's just a cruise ship out there anyway. Python dock now.
Amen. Some loft military fabrics for 430k. By the copper. Go. A lot of course. Yeah. Now if we go. Quick and easy. Oops, overcooked it a little bit. Jesus, did I overcook that. Having a little issues. <laughs> we'll get there. Ship trying to run into me or what? Oh boy, here we go. Somebody trying to interdict me. Well, if he does, I'll submit and fight him. I don't know what he is. I mean, it's a medium security system, so... Fertilance. on defense. As you can see, it's been a while. 
I gotta be careful not to shoot the police that showed up. Shit. I almost had a shield. Uh, he's gonna take off. There we go. Hey, don't shoot the police now. They're tearing his, him a new asshole, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, he's running. Bad time to reload. He's getting away. See, now the bad thing, so, I mean, obviously I'm rusty. But the bad thing is, if he pulls me out of Super Cruise again, he's going to have full health and shields. I, I don't think they ever fix that. Whereas I am down to 85% shields because I was slow to change my pip situation. So that kind of sucks, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it because they never changed it, as far as I know. As soon as I saw that the guy was going to interdict me, I should have changed to the pips arrangement that I have right now. I was just too slow. And I said that that might happen because I'm carrying stuff back and forth now. Usually, I won't get bothered anymore. If I make this docking, I shouldn't get bothered. Usually, like, once, right when you start playing, they'll send somebody to mess with you, and then you're okay for a while, a couple hours. Could have had a freaking bounty. I didn't even look to see what his bounty was. Like I said, it's been a while. And also, I didn't... So, two things happened because I didn't switch my pips to uh, defensive, is... My shields wore down faster from him shooting me, and my weapons didn't recharge as fast as they should have. I found speed. So, there you go. I found Doc now. Damn it. But, uh, whatever, you know. I didn't get hurt, really. If that would have been like an anaconda, it might have been gone a little different. He might have done more damage to me. But I wasn't really worried because I do have really beefy shields on this thing. And I knew police were going to come help me, so. If this had been low security, then, you know, I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Why... Why did I have to... Dismiss that? That's weird. Alright, reloaded, refueled. Gamer. Gamer. Yeah. 
camera. That's what happens when you don't play for a year and a half. You forget that stuff. Instead of it being an automatic response, you just forget to do it. Okay, let's let the big baddie get out of our way. Guy probably, he was the lead, he probably would have been a decent bounty too. Damn it. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh well. Is what it is. And then if I ever get in real trouble, or I think I'm getting in real trouble and I need to get away, uh, you just highway, go to another system. So if it's a person, you highway and then drop out of Super Cruise, and then get back into Super Cruise, and that should be enough. Although getting away from a person is not going to happen, really. If it's an actual person, then you're kind of dead. If you're not in a ship specifically set up to fight people, you're dead. You just, you don't have a chance. That was a good dropout. That's on dock now.
Like, is it going to let me dock or what? Camera. Somebody's getting jacked up out there. Anytime you want to get in the way there, Type 7, go ahead, get in my way. What's going on out here? What are you doing? Dolphin. Just creating fucking traffic hazards. on defense. You see. Somebody's trying me again. In a type 9. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see how it goes. He might have a ship launch fighter. Let's see. happening what the fuck is happening The nice thing about a Type 9, you kind of can't miss them. Think? I thank kill. Oh, my ass. I found speed.
Interesting, I got attacked again. It's probably because I didn't kill the first guy. You see? Python dock now. I had a feeling that wasn't going to work. It doesn't work because the developers set it up so you can't just have a button press to request docking because the guys who cheat and use bots to do things, that makes it harder for them, I guess. I don't know. I would hope people like that have left the game by now. What the fuck's going on? Let me guess, the servers are lagging. I think the servers are lagging. It won't let me dock. There we go. Either that or I was like a millimeter off camera. It was like a millimeter off of the landing pad and that's what was doing it. But it took a really long time for me to drop into the instance where I was fighting that Type 9. Just made it into the fifty percent mark. Camera. Keep forgetting to move that thing out of the way.
Python doc now. camera. Camera. Python dock now.
almost got out of the box there too. Camera. Let him come in. That's a type nine. No, nope, that's a yeah. That's a type nine. It's on dock now.
camera. Profit staying about the thing. It's on deck now.
hammer. Moving up. And I've brought 5,000 units. You know, there's probably math there I could do to figure out what the top 10 commanders is. I don't care, really. So it doesn't really matter. Go. I'll do this a little longer and then I'll start trying to figure out how to configure the ship that I want to use to fight the Thargoids. Python defense. You see. Fuck. And I hope we show up. Maybe he's incompetent and he won't be able to yank me. I'm definitely not going to be able to kill him. 
All right, I made it. Too slow. Python doc now. Damn it. God, that's annoying. He's going to warp in here in a second. Python speed. He starts a fight inside the uh, security blanket. That'll kind of be hilarious because he'll be killed. There he is. He should be smart enough to just fuck off and not bother me, or try to bother me. He's not even talking to me. God damn it. Hammer. That was an elite anaconda, though. That would have been a problem. Maybe. I think as long as I leave it on navigation, that'll work when I use the voice command to dock.
Python doc now. Damn it. Damn Not what you want to see when you're trying to leave the dock. Big fat ass type 9 in your way. I want to jinx it, but like I said, I've been left alone after those first couple interdictions. It was nice, you know, I've proven and defend myself. So stop bothering me.
I sign back now. Good old pad nine. Camera. Ugh. I think this is going to be my last run. Get into Coriolis and set up a anti Xeno ship and then see what I got. Actually, I should probably see what I got first and then. See what I got in the way of internals. And then look for building a ship in Coriolis. If I have any frame shift drives or cores or anything that I can use for anti Xeno ship, or if I have any ships that I can just convert to an anti Xeno ship, I don't know, maybe the Python. Got to be something with a lot of hull, which I think is not the Python. <laughs> I might have to just buy a Challenger or something. That's the difference with aliens. They have magic weapons that kind of mostly go right through your shields. And or take your shields down really fast. So you got to have a really sturdy hull. Which, if that, that's the reason I mentioned the Challenger, it has by default a sturdy hull that you can just make even more beefy. But I've done a little grinding for the community goal, so. Spent about an hour doing that, I think. Python dock now.
Damn it. We got there. All right. So, check this should still be top 25%. Top 25%, okay. 6,400 units of copper collected. They're up to 8.5 million. I don't remember what it was yesterday. I'd like to be top 10% or top 25%. Don't really care though. It doesn't really affect anything other than a little bit of money, which at this point doesn't matter as much. All right. What I need to do. Is look at my shipyard and see what I have that uh, maybe I can convert. Maybe the python, definitely not the fertilance. Fertilance is a shield ship, that's not really a fighting ship. That's a small ship, that's not a fighting ship. That's my taxi. Too small, too small. Not going to refit that because I have that set up for expiration. So I don't want to blow that shit up. That's my main ship. I don't want to use that. And then the Type 9. So I kind of don't really have a ship that I can just convert. I could convert Babieka. I think it would mainly be swap out the weapons for anti-xeno weapons, add a bunch of hull reinforcements, and maybe buy a hull, different hull for it. So I could do that. Uh, wait a minute, how do I... So this will let me see <clears throat> the current ship that I'm using and also let me see what what modules I have stored. So like this is hard points that I'm using at two pulse lasers in the multi cannon, two large pulse lasers and a huge multi cannon, all engineered. I don't have anything in these and I think it's because I was going to say it's because of power draw, but clearly it's not, because even when my weapons are deployed, I'm way under the max for my power draw. It might be because of weight. So if I was to do anything, I'd probably add, like, medium gimbaled pulse lasers to the upper hard points, which is... hard to tell. I think these are below. I think that's an upper hard point and that's an upper hard point. So it would be these two hard points. I'd add two medium gimbaled pulse lasers. Give me a little bit more firepower trying to chew through their shields. These are down below so that it's not very useful. Empty utility mount here for some reason. Got a point defense for missiles. Hmm.
see this it would be nice if this was zoomed out a little bit so you could see where it is on the ship like I have no fucking idea where that is on the ship <clears throat> I think that's up top and I'm guessing that's up top somewhere See, this is where you, you can't do a lightweight alloy on an anti-Xeno ship that needs to be all reinforced. Engineered, 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 not engineered, engineered. So anyway, stored modules. I have 98 stored modules. Okay. Core internal, so this would tell me don't have any power plants. Okay. Yeah, one frame shift drive. Four A and it's not engineered. Uh Engineered. So I have an engineered armor module. Probably use that. An AE power distributor. So that's just the core. That's just the basic power distributor, probably for this ship. I don't know why I kept it, but it's not engineered, so not not very useful. I got 58. Oh my god. Thrusters. 3A unengineered and a 4A engineered. Engineered for what? Drag, dirty drive. Okay. So I have some 4A modules. I have a 4A thruster that's engineered. And I have. A 4A frame shift drive. But it's not engineered, so I don't care. Anytime you engineer something, it takes time to fly to the engineer that does it, modify it. Maybe you gotta gather mats to do that. And it's just, it's time consuming. I should probably write this down. I'm not going to remember when I start looking at ships. Four A thrusters. Engineered for. Dirty drive. Four megawatt draw. I don't care about this. Okay. And that's grade five. So I'll try to use that so I don't have to redo that. That's fine. Car distributor, that was an 80 unengineered, so I don't care. That was what I was just looking at. I can get these anywhere. Not really too worried about that. Heavy duty armor. It's grade one. Why did I do that? I must have not had the mats to engineer it beyond that. I have a clean 4A. Because if I buy a ship, it's going to come with all the basic stuff. So 
I could swap out, like if it comes with a 4 E frame shift drive, I swap it out with this one, then I don't have to buy it. Not that it's that expensive, but I already have it, so I might as well use it. So. The fact that it's not engineered hurts, though, because that means i got to travel and engineer it. Engineered. No. <laughs> so I'm looking for a ship that uses 4 Trade for stuff. Um, this is where it starts getting a little confusing. Selector Olympic controller. I see. I don't remember. Are there? So I need a repair limp, repair Olympic controller, or maybe you you have a collector Olympic. And then you buy repair limpets. I don't. Okay, I don't remember. Don't care about that or that. I got lots of hull reinforcements. A garden guardian shield. So that's an actual. What the hell is that? That armor. So I have some reinforcement packages. I have guardian shield I have I have a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Those will be useful. One of them will be. Shield generators. A 16, a 5C bi-week. What in the fuck am I doing with them? This is probably the default shield generator I got when I bought some ship. And I don't know, I don't remember why I have a bi-weave. I don't typically use bi-weaves. They're weaker, but they come back faster once they go down. None of the other stuff really matters. Okay. So if I don't modify a ship I already have, I'm going to have to do this. Hopefully that shows up. Yeah. Um, is it a challenger? A chieftain or a challenger? See, I don't know these ships very well. Hey, Haki, how's it going, man? My, my Monday's good. Doing all right today. Thank you for asking. Everything going okay on your end? So this is all the default stuff for a challenger. God, 6E. 5E, so I can't use the th thrusters that I have engineered. That sucks. Stock frame shift drives, so that doesn't help, so I'm only saving money on that. I'm going to be mainly starting from scratch. Uh So, so reactive is good against explosives, mirrored is good against lasers and then for energy, and then military grade is good against both, but not as good as each of these. What is reinforced alloy? I don't know what that is. This is different. Lightweight is obviously the weakest, but it's 
lightweight, so your jump range is increased. I guess for this ship, I don't really care as much about having a super mega awesome jump range. Eight light years, seven light years. I guess I'd want military, right? Explosive, minus 40, minus 20. Minus 40, minus 20. So what's the fucking difference? Just the weight? Oh boy. That helps. I don't know. Gonna have to find out what the difference between these two are. Military grade looks like it hurts you more. Financially and jump range wise, but I don't know how it's better. It has the same stat. I would imagine we'll need a 6A power plant. We'll have to engineer that. You know what? 6A thrusters. We'll have to engineer those. The frame shift drive? I don't know. This one's 16 light years. If I engineer it for rain, no. Uh, yeah, range. It's 26 light years, so that's definitely worth doing. I think you do mass manager. That's not a perfect roll, which you probably won't get. But I definitely have to. I just have to do that. Otherwise, it's it's pure pain. And Felicity's not that far away. My support's probably actually important. Power distributor, probably, yeah. Damn. I'm basically going to have to engineer the whole damn thing. Fuck. I don't know if I want Bioweave or Standard. I mean, I'm going to lose shields. I know that. So, that's the whole point when you fight Thargoids is you lose shields. I don't know about all this stuff. Shield cell banks, structural. See, this is where I'm going to have hull reinforcement packages. Meta alloy hull reinforcement. What? Oh, boy. Here we go. Did I say I had Guardian Hall reinforcement packages? I think I do, right? Yeah. Okay, so well, at least I have some. <laughs> I won't have to go get them. So that's good. So I will be able to stick 4A Guardians in here. Those hull reinforce... yeah. That's going to kill my jump range, but that's okay. Meta-alloy 
hall reinforcement package. Okay, let's figure this out. Shit. Alright, so... I don't, I don't, I don't work shift works. Uh, I'm a, just a 9 to 5 or 8 to 5 or 8 to 4 kind of guy, so... Typically, I work like 7.30 to 4.30. It's typical. Monday to Friday. I mean, if there's something going on where, you know, they really need you to stay and get something done, then you just stay and get it done and then balance it out somewhere else. Thermal 2%, 5%, 4.13. Caustic. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Mm. I think you do need one of these meta alloy hull resistance because they hit you with caustic stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a guardian, two guardian hulls in one meta alloy, which I have no idea how to even get. I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't know how to get those. Probably have to put some other stuff in there too. Uh, I'm going to need a limpet controller. A repair limpet controller. Hopefully a 3 is okay. Max two, yeah, that's fine. I don't know what I'm gonna put here. I don't think I need a cargo. I can. I don't think I'm gonna be picking stuff up that's corrosive. I'm certainly not gonna make it a a six cargo rack. So what else can I put here? Hall reinforcement, that's, that's a five, is the highest you can get. That doesn't make any sense. Decontamination limpet controller. Uh, maybe that's what I need. <laughs> I don't know. I think people burn that stuff off by overheating their ship. They don't have a caustic repair controller. Is there one of these for a three? Things for that's so that's for when you get hit with their caustic attack. I, think. I don't know. I don't know if they hit modules. I don't think they preferentially hit modules. I think they do damage to both your hull and your modules. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't fought the aliens. Throw two in there. I probably need... There's such a thing as a 16 
whole reinforcement package. Probably not. I think five is the highest you can have. Module, yeah, five. That would be a waste. Um, I don't know what you would put in the utility mount fighting the aliens. Xeno scanner and a shutdown field neutralizer. I don't even know how to use those. I will probably need a heat sink launcher. I don't know if a shield booster makes any sense. I don't know if a point defense does anything against the aliens. Leave that empty for now. Hard points. All right. So you can carry four anti-Xeno weapons at a time. Carried. You can't carry any more than that. Just looking for AX weapons here. Not using missiles. Might have to use, I forget what it is. I think if I fight a interceptor, I'm going to need a remote black launcher. You're 2B, so I don't need to waste a, a large hard point on that. X multi cannon, we got fixed and turreted. Feels like it would be problematic. Enzyme missile rack. I guess the guardian weapons are terrible now. So I don't have a lot of choices, which is good. Because it makes it easier to choose the weapons. I know turreted weapons are way weaker than fixed weapons. Fixed are the strongest. We're trying to unlock the gimbaled. I guess I'll start with, I'll start with turreted because I plan on using gimbal. That's one, two, three, four, so if these are anti-xeno, turreted, multi-cannons. Anti-Xeno multi-cannon to a anti-Xeno missile. Same thing in all three slots. Okay. So that's the, you can only carry four. I've got four. I don't know what I'm going to bother to put in the small hard points. Why bother to put anything? It's not going to do anything against the aliens. I'm not going to fight not aliens. But I'm not sure why I would put anything and suck up energy with these. But I think that's that's my first cut at an anti-Xeno challenger. There's my hull. There's a lot of numbers here. <laughs> Speed, slow as hell. Boost, slow. That's because none of this stuff is engineered yet. Um, range is not awful. DPS 52. I don't, I don't know what that means against the alien. gonna suck getting it upgraded. 
the other option is I take another ship that has a 6A and the same sort of layout. Uh, I mean, I could fly my um, my exploration ship, my anaconda, around and just take. Well, I'm not engineering these. I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's a point to engineering the shield generator against aliens because it's going to go down. So I don't know if you can. Engineer Guardian Hall Reinforce. I don't think you can. That would be kind of OP. I have to I have to engineer the frame shift drive. The power plant and the thrusters. And the power distributor. The other stuff I probably don't need to engineer. So I can't save it because why well, I'm not logged in. Well, don't put, don't close this screen. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to start with. You know, grab a challenger. And then, uh, load it up with this stuff. So that means I need to go to Jameson, get a challenger, get all these core components, except for the anti Xeno stuff. And I'm going to be flying around in a ship with no weapons that work against regular AI. Okay, three small anythings aren't going to do anything against anything that attacks me anyway, so. I just got to jump away if I get yanked, or I try to fight the interdiction and hope I win. This is going to cost the paltry 113 million credits. Easy. And uh, I'm nowhere near it without an engineered power plant, so that's good news. I mean, they're all multi cannons. Alright. Well, let me uh, take a break here for a second. I'll be right back in a minute or two.
right, so one of the things I wanted to check is to make sure that I'm not doing something really dumb here. So this is the the group that runs the little anti ship or anti xeno anti alien, just to be clear. Ship build thirty page for more than the outfitting decision. So see they're using a chieftain. Oh there's a challenger. Okay. So I don't want a, a beginner build. And the advanced builds are what? I don't understand this. I'm not using a Corvette. <laughs> Ship build repository. Okay, I'll buy it. Challenger was what I was looking at. Goss weapons? What? Goss weapons? I think I think I need to uh, need to visit a um, what the fuck are they called? Rescue ship? Yeah. Seven light years. Rescue mega ship. But I'm not doing it in my cutter. So I need to go back to my carrier. Get in. I guess I could get in my taxi and go to a rescue mega ship. That's the closest one. Where's my carrier? Right here? Yeah, all right, so let me go to my carrier, which is not on here for some reason. I have to hit back like five times. Annoying. Camera. Three jumps. Alright. I'm go back to my carrier. And go to a mega ship. Rescue mega ship. I need to see what the actual weapons are right now that you can buy there. Because right now I'm guessing. And that information could be old and... Because if they're listing anything Guardian related, that's out of date. That cargo rack's empty, right? Right. I know people were using 
Guardian Goss weapons to fight the Interceptors a long time ago, but I don't think they're doing that anymore. Kind of flies like a very big ship. <laughs> yes, which it is. Python Center. Yeah, I meant to look at that and see how they've been doing since I looked last time and I didn't. I was talking to my dad earlier and I told him last time I looked they were kind of middle high in the pack with Boston still dominating everybody. Sure, yeah, that, this is going to sound salty, but I sure wish there was a, a package that I could buy and I could watch all the Red Wing games. <laughs> nope. Okay, enough on that. I beat that dead horse several times. on the light side of the planet by now. Maybe? No. I'm going to go with hard to tell, but probably not. Nope. Dark side.
Python doc now. Hey, we're home. Camera. Landing successful. Plants engaged. Greetings, Commander. We are glad to have you. Should I get in my taxi? Because I'm going to buy a ship, or should I get in... Zip there and zip back. I guess I could. I just hate to waste the trip. If I go there in a ship that I can't put weapons on, and I just look, that's one thing. If I take a ship that I can buy the weapons, if it's obvious which ones I want, then I can buy the weapons and bring them back. But then I can't take them with the taxi anyway. Then I gotta Uh well given the time, I would say Apex. And then after we've had our dick slammed in the toilet seat enough, we can switch to something else. Or you can play the Witcher. High on life. I don't even know what that is. But I'm just, I need to. Okay, bet. <laughs> I just need to go to this uh, rescue mega ship. Probably take me like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I need to see what weapons are there, and then I can come back. But I'm trying to build a new ship, and it's it's not going to be fast. It's something I need to plan out properly and do right. Otherwise, I'm going to be wasting a bunch of time and money. So, in other words, I'm ready to switch games. Oh, from the writers of Rick and Morty. Be home warming up in 15. Okay, that'll work. That's perfect. So I'm just going to run to this mega ship. Let me just take my good ship. I'm not taking the trutter. I could take a fun ship. Take that Cobra. Don't I have a Mark IV? I had a Mark IV. Take a courier. I could take anything. Take my Purta Lance. Puss in boots. Your data, you. It's 1080. That's. Is that why you. Oh, okay. Yeah, hi, Are you have any troubles with the, the stream? Is it hitching and lagging on you? Or? But I think we talked about it. That's why if, you, if you're worried about phone people, you stream in 720. I think most people stream in 1080 now, though. Could take my Corvette. Why is my Viper at Jameson? 
Why is this ship? Oh my gosh. What was I doing? <laughs> That's not why I played this. Fertilance has terrible jump range. I'm not taking that. Let's take Zippy. Yeah, let's take Zippy. Which apparently needs gas. I left the ship stored without gas. Nice. Yeah. And did I bookmark the mega ship? Apparently, I did not. that to near the top of the bookmarks. We'll put that in favorites too, so I'm going to be going back there. And plot a course. And back up. Back up. Let me. Can I? No? Okay, I got to click on this. Two jumps. Nice. Camera. Let's go. This one is like the opposite of the ship I was just flying. The ship I was just flying is a big, heavy, slow, not very maneuverable ship, and this is just the opposite of that. And I don't remember what weapons I have on it, and none of the fire groups are set up. This is bad. Let's set these up real quick. Uh, fuck. Hopefully I don't get in a fight on the way there. Where is it behind? I have neglected you. I am sorry. Are you still there? If you're there, the question is, do you want me to stream? Do you, would you be interested in me streaming Apex as a first-person shooter? I usually don't, because I figure nobody wants to see that. Can't see, can't see, there it is. I'm not even sure where you land on these things. Is it like on the side? Do you go inside? I don't, just, I don't know. Yes, that's exactly what this is. The original version of this game came out in 1984. It was one of the first video games I ever played. It might even be the first video game. Other than I played some games on an Atari 2600 with a friend. But I didn't have an Atari 2600, I had a Commodore 64, which was more like a computer that could play video games. But yeah, Elite came out in 1984, and this is Elite Dangerous, came out in 2014. 30 years after the first version. Yes, you would be, okay, I can stream Apex, it should be hilarious. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're, we were doing okay, I think, last time we played Apex. Poly, it's exactly what it was. It was wireframe. It was. You know, you know what I mean by wireframe? Everything was just a... Whoops, I'm going to go past this. Pay attention to your flying there, buddy. 
Yeah, everything was uh, wireframe. They actually, you can, if you own this game, you can play that version of the game, just like it was. It's free if you own this game. Yeah, I was telling Hockey about it the other day. So it was a fun game. That's what got me started on playing video games, really. The Atari 2600 games were kind of simplistic, you know, side-scrolling, shoot from the bottom. Fun, no doubt. I'm not, I'm not saying they weren't fun. They were. But Elite was just a whole different animal. I hope this, yeah, it is in front of me. <laughs> yeah, everything was simpler in the 90s because it had to be, right? Now I get to see what a rescue mega ship looks like. Never been to one. I think it looks like any other mega ship, but I don't know. Nice earth like world. I don't know, do you see landing pads? I don't see landing pads. Python dock now. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. It's like, I don't even see the landing pad. Oh, this ship is fast. Can hit a small pad. Hey. I th you could probably buy that on Steam. I would be, I would bet. Hammer. Uh, uh, let's see. The only th problem with me flying the ship over here, it's not going to show me the weapon. I don't think it's going to show me the weapons that I want because the ship's too small to use them, but we'll see. So it says Thargon, it says Thargon right there. So they have okay. So wait. That's... All right. So these are all fixed. Fixed all two fixed. Media multi cannon. Now, where's the DOS cannon? There aren't any. I wonder if that's because they're guardians. They're guardian DOS cannons. They don't have anti Xeno DOS cannons. They have fixed. Uh, 
the flak launcher I think I'm going to need. Is it the, no, it's not the flak launcher. It's the, uh, I'm not using missiles. I know that. Anti-Xeno multi-cannon. That's the large, three, three means it's large. So that's actually what I'll need for one of the slots on the challenger and then i would want see there's no gauss cannon so that date is out of date i think i'm gonna want this is what i had set up 2f ax multi cannons turreted and one large turreted AX multi cannon. 2E. Okay. So here's my 2F AX multi cannon. So I need, I would need three of those. And then a 3E turreted multi cannon. Let's see, three C. It's fixed. I need the turreted version. I don't see it. There it is. Three E. Turreted. That's the little symbol right there. Turret. Multi cannon. All right. So I'm right. So I was I was right using the multi cannons. That is what I'm gonna want because the. Like I said, it used to be you'd use the Guardian weapons against the aliens, but now the Guardian weapons suck relative to these weapons, so now everybody uses these weapons. These weapons are all multi-cannons and missiles and flak launchers, so. <laughs> A picture. And it says EXT on it. That was back when it was, you know, like now you buy everything digitally. Back then when you bought a disc, it was cool to have the disc in your hand and the, with the graphic on it and stuff. That's that's way back, though. So, okay, so I'm right. It's the multi-cannons. Uh, aren't I going to need one of these uh, remote-release flak launchers, though? Directional fires remotely detonated black rounds designed for use against Argon Swarms. Right. So I'm actually going to need two of the AX multi cannons and one of these remote release black if I fight an interceptor. That was mine and I gave it to you. Could be. Could be. I think I still have. Uh, a, not a binder, but it's like a binder, you know, with sleeves in it that you can put four discs in each sleeve. I think I still have one of those at somewhere, and it has a lot of those old games in it. So I'm going to have to modify my build a little bit. That's fine. But at least I know these are the weapons. These are the correct weapons. So all I need to do now is go to... I just wanted to come here and make sure they didn't have uh, Gauss cannons here, and they don't. That's good. It's all multi-cannon, missiles, and flak launchers. Flak launcher. Right. Okay. Good. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, these are regular, right? Yeah, those are regular weapons. These are anti-xeno weapons. These are the experimental anti-xeno weapons. Okay, good. So now I uh, go back to my mega ship. Yeah. 2 yeah, it's one with 200 discs in it. Jesus. I do this and then I need to take a taxi to Jameson and then I'm done for the day. 
camera. If my taxi's on my fleet carrier, if my taxi's not on my fleet carrier, then I have to call it to my fleet carrier. Just flying around the mega ship here looking at it. Federal Haven rescue ship. Medical frigate. Just a little more maneuverable than the trudder. Yes, I did. Yeah, I think I, when I was looking at my uh, shipyard, I think the taxi's not here, so I'm going to have to just remote call it to my fleet carrier and call it a day, and then when I log on tomorrow, it'll be there, and I can use it to fly to Jameson and buy my new ship and start working on getting that ship ready to fight the aliens. I've been fighting aliens for not 30 years. Well, can I fight the Thargoids in the 1984 version? That'd be almost 40 years. Jesus. I've been fighting aliens for 40 years. that lighting change all about. I know I'm on 
the other side of the planet, so plan ahead. Python dock now. Shit. Gotta go around pad 11 to get to pad 15. And we're home. Hammer. Alright, let me make sure my taxi's here. Where are you, La Taxi? Right here. Nope, and Vukin here. La Taxi. Transfer ship to this location, yes. 25,000 credits, confirm. Alright, so taxi's coming, he'll be here in 26 minutes. So obviously I'm not gonna sit here for 26 minutes, so. Next time I log on though, it'll be here. I can jump in it and go to Jameson. Buy a Challenger, outfit it, you know with A modules, and then I'm going to have to take it from engineer to engineer to engineer some things. Assuming I have the things I need to engineer. So I'll have to look at my at engineer to find out if I have the things for it. But uh, that's all I can do for right now. So, Aki, if you're still here, I'm going to switch to Apex. So... That's it for now. Signing off.